high class. Today we are going to talk about the pleasures in occupations. The play and leisure occupation are performed when unpaid work is performed. Such as play being hobbies and other entertainment and leisure being games or sports. There is simple sensory pleasures we are going to talk about. The main one is the limbic system. It is a primitive area of the brain which includes a common pleasure sensory, the amygdala, which enables the sense of smell, memory, emotions, and physical desire. I know my pleasure is in the morning. Waking up to smell the coffee right out of the can. Also when I pass by the bakery and smell the brownies, just like mom used to make. You are right. Smell is very important. So is your taste which allows pleasure also. To sum up the limbic system pleasures would include touch, visual, auditory and the vestibular system. Can you name any examples? Yes I can. Laying down on a soft bed, seeing a beautiful scenery, and hearing easy listening music. The vestibular system involves the monitoring of these levels to enable pleasure with appropriate sensory information, posture and overall stimulation of the sensory system. Being physically active is a pleasure that keeps me healthy and in shape. This allows sensory input as well as comfort, especially after sitting for a long time. When you get up it feels good on the body. Let's talk about the sensation called pain. Pain can limit occupations as well as pleasures when not dealt with. As all staff members in occupational therapy, we will deal with pain frequently. It is important for us to better understand and enable any pain management we can. This will allow each individual to continue with their occupations and activities of daily living. Let's move on to the complex cerebral pleasures. Thrill seeking is a complex cerebral pleasure. It involves the need for an adrenaline rush. This would include the rush of a scary roller coaster ride or entering a haunted house. Although you maybe have self-awareness of being scared, you continue with it anyways for the adrenaline rush. Humor is a complex cerebral pleasure. Everyone loves a good joke, comedy movie, or a comedy stand-up. These allow the arousal level to increase and then suddenly drop. Did you know that humor has an impact on our immune system? as well as a stress reducer. The healthcare world is now using it to decrease stress in the work environment and make it a more positive place to be. That is very interesting. I did not know that. Let us move on to the pleasure of meaningful rituals. The holiday that just passed was Halloween. That holiday has a lot of meaningful rituals. I see parents teaching their kids the ritos of Halloween. They are decorating houses with scary decor. They are making Halloween costumes. And parents are walking the children around to gather candy, house to house. Saying trick or treat. This is being passed down generation to generation. Let us talk about the pleasures of hobbies and other leisure activities that may be productive if needed. What I mean by productive is the arts and crafts that I enjoy. May become money if I sell them. Last summer I sold half of my garden to the local organic market. Although it was not intended. I had a much crop and they paid me a good lump sum. This allowed me to sell some of my gardening that I enjoy. And I made extra money. That was an excellent example. Let us move on to dangers of pleasures. These would include substance abuse or addictions, eating disorders, gambling and technology addictions. I think the class can relate to the technology addictions. Although we are not addicted to our computer or cell phone on purpose, we are consistently using it for papers, email, texting and verbal communication. This the technology era. Yes I must agree. Does anyone use a phone book anymore? I am sure the majority of people orders their pizza online. Other dangerous addictions include prescription or non-prescription drugs. It seems the elderly population in nursing homes are on a lot of pain medications. El thought they are prescribed by a physician, the individual is still addicted to the every 4 hour pain medicaidone. The individuals using illegal drugs, their occupations are interrupted daily. To continue with the use of these drugs, a mother may need to pick up their child from school. But because she needs the drug to stop the urges, she may use the drug and then forget about her responsibilities. That is a very sad example, but you are right. 
To continue with the dangers of pleasures I will briefly discuss eating disorders. Such eating disorders will have a negative effect on an individual. Such as eating too much and becoming obese. Or eating too little or none at all, and becoming anorexic. And finally our last topic, pathological gambling. We all can enjoy a good scratch-off ticket. This will not affect our daily routine or occupations. But for those who gamble away everything, they have no money, no home and eventually no family. This gambling occupation is a dirder. Even though the dangers are evident, the person continues to gamble. I agree, this will become a disruptive process in someone's daily routine. Thank you for sharing and helping us understand the pleasures of occupation. We have enjoyed you listening to our presentation. Please enjoy the sweets and read the credits. The credits will inform you where the information came from.